All right, true story fans, Alan Levine, I'm back. I got a story that's true, and it could be amazing if you participate. You're going to make it amazing. So this goes back to someone else's story that is also on the True Story site. Uh, Jason Toll, my friend in Vancouver, uh, tells a story about sharing sunflower seeds uh, and ideas. And uh, let's see if I can get him to tell it a, a little bit. Sunflowers, and it's a story of sharing. I thought it might be appropriate to share it with you now. Now these, these have actually been drying in the house all winter. And I just put them out here as props to pick them up for this, uh, for this sequence. Um, but these are the remains of my sunflowers from last year. And I received these sunflowers from a very good friend of mine named Harry Lamb, who was kind enough to share a story with me on his blog about gardening. All right. And I guess he had an... You can listen to uh, the rest of the story. I'm not here just to play the story. But it's a good one. So let me see if I can encapsulate. So uh, our friend Harry um, was in fourth or fifth grade and had a school project. And he proposed this idea that he had come up with. And it was about kind of a community compost sort of thing that would go around the city and people could contribute their scraps and you could sort of, um, you know, be environmentally uh, cognizant and, and do some good stuff. And it was, it was kind of an idea thinking. But our, Harry was looking for feedback. So he did something neat. And he said, for the first five people who respond to my blog post, um, I will give you some sunflower seeds that you can grow on your own. Um, and so it was set up this idea. So Jason was one of the first people who responded uh, to Harry's request. And Jason grew his sunflowers, um, that would have been the year before last. And Jason did the same thing last year on his blog. He put out a request and he said, um, I've grown these sunflowers. And I think it's kind of a neat story. So the first five commenters, or how many responded, um, who responded to my blog post, um, I will send you uh, the sunflower seeds that I harvested uh, for my sunflowers. Now, Jason lives in Vancouver. Uh, Harry lived in Vancouver, actually not far from each other at the time. So getting from uh, Harry to Jason was pretty easy. In fact, you could walk between their houses. Uh, but Jason e uh, mailed me uh, the sunflower seeds. I got them last March, a little packet maybe 20 seeds, uh, here in Arizona. And I grew the sunflower seeds myself, and they did pretty darn good. Let's see if I can work this. I think you get the idea. Sunflowers do pretty well in Arizona. I found that the, the two that got regular water every day, six footers, big head of seeds. So look what I got. Look at all the seeds. I got all these sunflower seeds that I want to share with you. So here's the deal. I've got a blog post on my site. And I'm offering you the same deal. You tell me you're interested, and I'll get in touch with you. Um, don't put your address in my blog, uh, but I will send you an email and ask for your address. And I will mail you um, some of these seeds so you can grow them this summer. And then the idea is when you harvest your seeds in 2014, you can put out a blog post and make the same offer to other people. And we'll be spreading sort of the love of sunflowers and this idea through the Internet. But here's the little thing that I'm adding. Uh, as a sort of way of going back, and again, remember, these were seeds from sunflowers that Harry Lamb grew, and then he get, gave the seeds he got from his sunflowers uh, to Jason Toll, who then gave me sunflowers. So I've got like the grand seeds of uh, Harry's original sunflowers. And so we can keep on going with this pretty easily and spread very far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send some of my seeds back to Jason and Harry. So if this starts to spread, and I think you can do some of the geometric progressions of growth, etc. If this really spreads, in a couple of years, I predict that some big 18-wheeler is going to pull up in front of Jason and Harry's house and dump out this massive pile of seeds because everybody on the internet is going to be growing seeds and sharing it. And if not, it'll be fun to do. So right now, it's a story. It's kind of neat. It hasn't gotten to the amazing level yet, 
that's where you come into the picture. So it's not that complicated. You don't need to be like technical or anything like that to do this. All you got to do is germinate the seeds, stick them in the, sand, in the ground, water them, wait till the end of the season, let them dry out, get a bag of seeds, write a blog post, make the same deal. Seed it forward. Now that will be amazing.